Facebook. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So I know you guys were like probably expecting your weeklies this week. So because I kind of like, you know, um, didn't plan appropriately as far as like when I record a video and when I put it out, I end up putting out certain signs kind of late in the week and I don't want to do that. So this week I'm going to take time to film for next week. But I wanted to give you guys like a touch into your love life because of course, you know, most of us you know like to hear about the boo. Okay. So <laughs> um what I just received today though was my Aqua Moonlight Tarot deck. <laughs> I was so excited. I said goodies came through the mail. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to do the untold truths of the heart oracle with you guys. I'm gonna do three cards for each zodiac sign isn't that perfect isn't that perfect like we're gonna get everyone done in this one video and i'll timestamp it because you know okay all right so we're gonna start with aquarius now one thing that i sometimes forget is the order of the zodiac so the way that i remember is i sing the beyonce like signs video that or um yeah so i, I do that video well that song I like Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Kiss. <laughs> like, that's how I do it. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, we're going to start with Aquarius. So, I'm shuffling for Aquarius. All right. We're going to get through this in one video. We're not going to make it long. We're going to do a little chat, whatever, whatever. Okay. Shuffling for Aquarius. All right. Yes. Three cards for Aquarius today. Three cards for Aquarius. Three cards for Aquarius and their person spirit. Okay. You get influences, dark attachment, third parties. And you also get unheaval. Shock, the unexpected trouble. Okay. Somebody's hating. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like we did an April reading or something. I don't know if it was last night or what, but I was like, somebody is third party and they're hating. One more for Aquarius. Okay. You get loyalty. It says dedication, trust, reliability. Okay. And these also came out. The chase, preparation, relentless pursuit, victory, and feminine energy. Okay. So you might have somebody that's like, nah, you're not leaving me. Nah, we're not going to let this interfere with us and like come after you. Like they're after you. Like, no, you're going to be with me. That's what it is. <laughs> like they're not letting go. Okay. Let's pull cards for... Pisces. <laughs> Pisces. Let me do a shuffle for Pisces. All right. Pisces. Three cards for Pisces in their person today. Okay. They get beauty, charming, graceful. Luxurious. Okay. For Pisces. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. You get shallow, superficial, boredom, blank. You get Farewells, goodbyes, finality, closure. Okay. So you may be saying to, um, either you're saying to your person or you're like your person is like saying to you like that you're stuck with yourself. You're shallow. You're more focused on your beauty or you're more focused on how things look and they're not feeling it. If you get beauty, shallow, and farewells. You're stuck on yourself. 
I don't know how else to say it. So how else is it? Pisces, Aries. On to Aries right now. Pisces, just step on yourself. <laughs> Maybe you're saying that to your person or your person saying it to you. I don't know. I don't know. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Okay. All right. Aries in their person. Here we go. Three cards for Aries today. Something wanted to come out. I don't know what the... Oh, there it is. Okay. Mirror. Reflection. Shared feelings. You. Okay. Three cards for Aries. Okay. You get... Receptive. Open heart. Softness. Vulnerability. You get memories, bittersweet, dwelling, reminiscing. You also get established family, triumph, security, and also like unspoken and clarity. Like I think someone is getting an aha moment right now, either you or your person, and they're starting to be more open to like what's right in front of them in the mirror. Okay. <laughs> They're reflecting back on memories and looking back on things it's like, oh, yeah, I remember what. Oh, I miss. Yeah, this is why. This is what I need to do. I bet. Damn it. Okay. Look at Aries. Hot mess. <laughs> Maybe it's your person, Aries. Now they now they want to be like, oh, you know. The nerve. Like now they all the heart is open. No, that's good. I'm just joking, y'all. That's good. You know, people change. Okay. All right. This is for Taurus. <laughs> I have to go through the song. Beyonce sign song. Taurus and that person. We get confessions. Unexpected message unveiling justification. Somebody about to send you a message towards like, yeah, okay, so this is what this is what's really good. And this is how I feel about you. Or maybe you're doing that to them, Taurus. Okay. For Taurus and their person today. This week, how are they feeling? All right, you get confusion, puzzled, unsettled, unclear. They're probably confused about how they, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you know what I'm saying? Like, this kind of came out of nowhere. I'm like, really feeling this way with Taurus. One more for Taurus. Mm -hmm. I wanted them to flip this time since this is a new deck. Solitary, okay, withdrawn. Loneliness and single. Okay. And then you have pride, ego, arrogance, stubborn love. Listen, they know they love you and they just hold them back. <laughs> they they hold them back, but you're gonna get a message. You're gonna get a message towards or maybe you are the one holding back and you're gonna give the message, vice versa. But you, you know, pulling back and stuff, trying, you know, because you're all in your ego, knowing you wanna be right up under them or them, you. Okay, let go. <laughs> let go of the fight. Just be a part of it. Okay, Taurus. Stop BSing. <laughs> or, or your person. Tell them stop BSing. Cross watcher. If you're cross watching, meaning you are looking at this sign because you are listening for your person. You are cross watch. <laughs> All right. For Gemini. I don't care. I'm going to get hype on Gemini. Yes. Yes, I am. I'm a Gemini. All right. Gemini. Okay. Three cards for Gemini and the person. Heart fog. Mixed signals. Blocked emotions. Clutter. Yeah. 
definitely can see that. Three cards for good too. Clarity, honesty, intention, truth. And then you have heart song, inner knowing, telepathy, intuition. Okay. All right. So just like unclear. Maybe you were feeling unclear, Gemini or your person, about like what type of connection you were in. Like what is this, right? But I think you're starting to gain clarity. I think you're starting to use your intuition. Like it's starting to open up. The clog is the fog is starting to clear out, okay? That fog is clearing out. I'm starting to see the buildings, right? Okay. It's coming clearer. Okay, Gemini. Having clarity is the bomb, okay? You starting to see what this is? It is. That's good, okay? That's wonderful. Cancer. And we are on Cancer. Okay. Cancer. We need to understand that. I slouch a lot. Cancer. Cancer. All right. You have loss, grief, sorrow, pain. And then you have the feminine energy. So maybe the feminine energy is feeling this way. Feeling some loss, feeling some grief, feeling some sorrow, feeling some pain. Cancer, you're a little sad right now. Maybe you and your person aren't around each other right now. You guys aren't talking. You guys aren't connecting. Okay. No, that didn't turn over. I'm not taking it unless it's obvious because this is a new deck for Cancer. Look, empathy. Okay. Realizations, understanding, awakening. Now you understand like what should have happened, what should have been, how things should have gone. You're having a better understanding. And I definitely feel like this is the feminine energy that is feeling this way. A little sorrow. Okay, now having an awakening. Isn't that a beautiful setup? Look at how that looks. Oh my God. Thank you, Aqua Blue Light. Oh. It's beautiful cards. I love these. Okay. Okay. We're doing this now for Leo. <laughs> for Leo today. Leo and their person. Spirit. Leo and their person. Okay. Yeah. Only you. Fixated, attached, hypnotized. What else? For Leah and that person. Oh, too. I appreciate that. Elusive, entangled, dishonest, tricky. Then you have boundaries, no drawing the line. Okay, so I feel like someone is just not being upfront. Someone is not being upfront. They're not, you know, um, making it clear. That it's only you. They're being very elusive, okay? And they're, they, um, they seem not to be, you know, following the boundaries that you guys may have put forth. It's like you can't, you're not solid in, like, what's going on with the other person. That could be with you or you with them. Either way, okay? Um, it's just you can't even read that. Like, none of, none of, none of the cards are clear or anything. It's like she's confused. She's upside down and immersed in water and they're in the fog. Like nothing's clear. Are you, is it only you? Like type thing, you know? Liga, Verga, Libra, Scopia, <laughs> Sagittarius, Ella. 
So we're doing Virgo right now. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right. Three cards for Virgo in their person right now. Three cards for Virgo in their person. Virgo in their person. Only you came out again. Okay, so maybe Virgo is dealing for Leo. Three cards in their person for me. There you go. Clinging. Holding on, obsessing, watching for Virgo. They, they stuck to only you. Somebody is stuck to only you, Virgo. But less. You done put the... <laughs> you done laid the smack of down, Virgo. In the bedroom. <laughs> now they are clingy and stuck on only you. Look at that. People do bushes and whatnot. <laughs> Virgo, the did the Listen, Virgo, y'all are out of control. Got him sneaking through the bushes, peeking. Uh. Libra. <laughs> I still got to go through the song. I don't care. I cannot remember the order of the Zodiac unless I go through the song. At least I would never forget that song. Libra. For Libra, for Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra in that person. You get second chance. Ooh, Libra. Somebody want a second chance. They messed up. They know it. <laughs> Let me fix it, boo. Um, okay. And you get unheaval, shock, unexpected, trouble. And you get, there it is, sidetrack, delays, distractions, change, okay, right? So, somebody is about to come and shake things up, right? Have you completely sidetracked? Maybe they got sidetracked. But they about to come through, like, let me get a second chance. Like, things just got out of control for a little bit, but I'm back. <laughs> let me get a second chance, Libra. What you gonna do? How you going? Okay. This is for... Libra, Scorpio. That's terrible. And then it'll be Sagittarius and then Capricorn. See? I got you. So we're on Scorpio. We're on Scorpio. 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 For Scorpio in that person this week. You get Roman Wild, Free Spirited Risk Possibilities. Okay, let's see what this is about, Scorpio. I don't know how to read that just yet. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of that. It split, but it, it went back in. I don't know where it went. Oh, there you go. Okay. Then influences, doc attachments, third parties. Okay, one more, make it clear for Scorpio. Shattered, damaged, broken hearted, destroyed. Listen, somebody out here with third parties running in these streets. <laughs> They run in these streets with third parties, running wild, free spirited, just doing anything, and then shattered somebody's heart. Whether that was you, Scorpio, or your person, they out here doing anything. 
somebody out here. I don't know who. That's what Scorpio said. That's the energy that's given. Okay? Not clarifying nothing today. That's what's being given. It's very clear. Plain English. I have to interpret no picture. Okay? No symbols. No Roman numerals. It's in words. Take it how it resonates. Okay? <laughs> Whether it's you, Scorpio, or your person. Sagittarius. Right off the bat for Sagittarius. It says, despair, falling apart, sinking, hopeless. Sage was like, I got to get this out right now. <laughs> what else, Sage? Okay, threw that out. Secret admirer, suppression, resistance, shyness. Ooh, look how sexy that card is. Ooh, okay. One more for Sage. Yeah. Loyalty, dedication, trust, reliability. Now, I feel like this for Sage. Someone is finding it hard to be loyal because they to their person because they have been hurt by their person and they have a secret admirer that's making it tough. They're trying to be loyal. Okay. But there is a secret admirer that is making things tough. Because it was so much heartache on that side. Okay. Let's do Capricorn. Listen. Apply how it fits. If it doesn't. Then it doesn't. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say about that. Okay. <laughs> all right. So the last one, Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay. All right. The Capricorn. My first sound. We have consequences, karma, destiny, cause and effect. Okay. Two more for Capricorn. Okay. Clashing differences, incompatibility, conflict. And then one more for Cap. Okay, that was too many. <laughs> Throwing all this away. One more for Capricorn. Okay, but it gave me three. Okay, second chance, letting go, and clarity. Listen, second chance is making amends, opportunity, and plans. Letting go, releasing, walking away, moving on. And clarity, honesty, intention, and truth. Okay. So, this is a lot. But I feel like someone is starting to see the um, consequences to their actions. And they're looking for a second chance with someone. Um, maybe they're, to be completely honest, um, it could be one person that is like, that you're focused on, you and your person, and it's like, look, this person, there are differences, there have been conflict, right? But you want to change things, you want to shift and chance instead of letting go, okay? Maybe you thought of letting go, all right? Or maybe someone has decided to let go and you're trying to gain clarity like, hey, these, this is occurring or these differences or conflicts are occurring because they are consequences to my own actions. I think so, Cap. And now it's... Want a second chance? You or them? Five cards. Okay. So that's what I have for y'all. All 12 zodiac for the week. I hope it helps. And 
please hit me up on Instagram, Mr. Girl underscore Tarot, and like and comment and share. And make sure you like ring the bell or press the bell so that you can get notification when I post because if you don't say everything, then you won't get notification like that. So then you might miss out on stuff. So I wanna like, you know, have little pop up things like, you know. Okay. So I will see you guys soon and have a great evening. I miss you guys already. Bye-bye.